We're living much longer, but who wants to be elderly and wheelchair bound? Mobility is the essence of life enjoyment, and Paractin as a dietary supplement taken daily can help sustain mobility, support bone, joint and muscle health, relieve minor aches and discomfort, support immune health, and is an ideal nutritional supplement for sports nutrition. Practin is certified kosher, halal, and available certified organic as well. Practin is protected by a US patent composition and use, useful for the treatment of autoimmune diseases and Alzheimer's disease by activation of PPAR gamma receptors. There are multiple human clinical studies which allow for the following claims. Supports a healthy inflammatory response, supports a healthy joint function, strengthens joints and eases joint flare-ups, improves flexibility and mobility, maintains bone mass and strength, supports muscle health, supports a healthy immune response, promotes healthy mobility. So with us today is Dr. Juan Hanke, the Chief Scientific Officer of HP Ingredients. Dr. Hanke has published over 30 research papers on Andrographis and is considered the pioneer and leading expert on Andrographis. Dr. Hanke, tell us about your research on Andrographis and when did it start and what leads to the discovery of Paractin? I started the research on Andrographis about 20 years ago with the Swedish Herbal Institute. Andrographis is a plant that grows abundantly in India, China and Southeast Asia. Initially, we were researching andrographis for boosting immune system and preventing common cold. Later on, with my colleagues at the Universidad Austral de Chile, we found that andrographis, at low doses, it stimulates the immune system. At high doses, it acts as a powerful anti-inflammatory drug. We have since switched our focus in the anti-inflammatory properties of andrographis and this leads to the development of paractin with HP ingredients. Yes, this leads to creating a proprietary and high potent extract of Andrographis paniculata, standardized to not less than a 50% patented extract of bioactive andrographolides, 14 deoxyandrographolide and neoandrographolide. Numerous illnesses have been linked to chronic inflammation. Is inflammation bad? Inflammation is critical for our survival and is the body's natural mechanism to defend against a diverse variety of pathogens including bacteria, viruses, fungi, tumors and a number of various other harmful agents. Inflammation serves as a mechanism to eliminate noxious agents and of damaged tissue. However, long-term systematic inflammation sends your immune system into overdrive the body mistakenly attacks both healthy and unhealthy cells. In the case of rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system mistakenly attacks your healthy joints for a prolonged period of time, causing a lot of inflammation. These individuals typically have a high level of C-reactive protein and rheumatoid factor. What are the findings from this research? Patients with rheumatoid arthritis typically have elevated levels of rheumatoid factor and C-reactive protein. The patients taking paractin showed significant improvement compared to the placebo group in the following parameters. Reduced number and total grade of swollen joints, reducing number and total grade of tender joints, improvement in both quality of life and the questionnaires of stiffness score. The effect was associated also with a significant reduction in rheumatoid factor, creatine kinase, interferon gamma, and in the paractin group. You also published another human clinical trial in innovative rheumatology in 2013. In this study, you have eight individuals with various rheumatoid conditions given 300 milligrams of paractin daily for four years. Yes, this is a long-term compassionate study. At the end of the four-year study, all the patients are on monotherapy with paractin only. Treatment with paractin showed significant improvement in the number of swollen joints, total grade of swollen joints, total grade of tender joints, and improvement in quality of life scores. We are seeing significant reduction in rheumatoid factor 
erythrocyte sedimentation and C-reactive protein after six to eight months treatment. In addition, paractin may have additional therapeutic effect over prednisone and metrotrexate in reducing pain and fatigue. Andrographolite inhibits COX-2 enzyme and reduces prostaglandin production that is tied to pain and inflammation. No side effects were observed indicating that paractin was safe, non-toxic and well tolerated. Okay, paractin is beneficial for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. What about osteoarthritis? We know osteoporosis is common in post-menopausal women. Does paractin support healthy bone function? Absolutely. Healthy bone involves two coordinated actions, bone formation by osteoblast and bone reabsorption by osteoclast. In the process of bone formation, osteoblasts produce a calcium and phosphate-based mineral that is deposited. Almost the entire bone matrix is mineralized by the osteoblast. Osteoclast, on the other hand, reabsorbs and breaks down bone tissue. This healthy balance of bone formation and bone resorption tends to decline with age, particularly in postmenopausal women who tend to develop porous bone caused by the decline of estrogens. We have shown in in vitro study that andrographolite that is contained in paractin induces osteoblast mineralization showing increasing calcium deposit on the bones, suggesting that paractin may be beneficial for osteoarthritis. There was a research paper published in International Journal of Molecular Sciences 2015. A group of mice whose skeletons mimic postmenopausal osteoarthritis were treated with andrographolide, showing significant increase in bone mass, trabecular thickness and number. How does practin reduce bone loss induced by estrogen deficiency? Receptor activator for NF-kappa B ligand induced osteoclast formation. Andrographolite was found in paractin inhibits NF-kappa B, which in turn suppresses RANK that are responsible for making osteoclasts. Paractin is able to significantly decrease osteoclast formation in the bone marrow. In another in vitro study, published in the European Journal of Pharmacology, that was a study of us, andrographolite found in paractin inhibits nuclear factor of activated T-cells, activity which also regulates the expression of osteoclast genes and is linked to bone erosion. Erosion and degradation of cartilage can cause inflammation and pain, decreased mobility and reduced athletic performance. How does paractin promote healthy cartilage? The degradation of cartilage is caused by interleukin-1 cytokines, which trigger the overproduction of a cartilage-degrading enzyme called matrix metalon proteinase in the synovial cells and the chondrocytes. This leads to a progressive loss of cartilage matrix, such as the agrican, hyaluronum, and collagen. Recent research showed that andrographolite is able to reduce this metalloproteinase in human chondrocytes while via NF-kappa-B pathway. Andrographolite further prevents cartilage degradation by dramatically reducing the loss of collagen, uronic acid, hyaluronan, and sulfate glucosamine glycans. The research not only showed the potent cartilage protective activities of andrographolite, but also showed the ability of andrographolite to increase the production of this cartilage. Biomolecules like collagen, as I said, agrican and hyaluronate. There was a study published in Cell Biology Toxicology 2012. The researchers collected synovial tissues from 15 RA patients who had undergone a total knee replacement therapy. The research talked about rheumatoid arthritis fibroblast-like synoviocytes, that's RAFLS. Can you explain what they are? In rheumatoid arthritis, aggressive fibroblast-like synoviocytes are found in the synovial tissue. These uh, cells invade and destroy the joints and cartilage by actively releasing pro-inflammatory cytokines. 
They also produce a massive amount of cartilage degrading enzymes, especially matrix methylon proteinase, which contribute to the invasive growth of these substances and subsequently joint destruction. Synovial hypoxia occurs in 50% of the patients with rheumatoid arthritis. These patients have inflammation in the synovial tissue surrounding the tendons. The study found that andrographolite induces cell death in this aggressive rheumatoid arthritis fibroblast-like synoviocytes, inhibit the migration and invasion of rheumatoid arthritis decrease in metalloproteinase, suggesting the potential for paractin in protecting against joint destruction. Dr. Hanke, you published a study in Skeletal Muscle 2014, where MDX mice were treated with practin or placebo for three months. The research showed that practin was ab able to improve functional capacity and help prevent muscle tearing. This is great news for those over 40s who engaged in engage in regular fitness routines, hard labor, or athletic participation. Yes, strenuous exercise and overtraining can lead to structural damage to muscle cells, muscle soreness, and increased inflammatory response. In this study, we showed that the administration of paractin reduces skeletal muscle damage and lower serum creatinine kinase. Creatinine kinase is an enzyme found within your muscles. An elevated creatinine kinase indicates strain on the muscles, inflammation of muscles and other skeletal muscle damage. Serum creatinine kinase levels were significantly decreased in paractin-treated MDX mice compared with controlled MDX mice with an approximately 50% recovery score. The study also showed paractin to improve functional capacity, skeletal muscle strength and exercise performance. Yes, the paractin-administered MDX mice showed significant increase in the generation of isometric force, increased twitch and tetanic force in the tibialis anterior muscle, and significant decrease in the number of fall back in the treadmill running protocol with recovery score of 45%. The paractin group exhibited less severe muscular dystrophy, performed better in an exercise endurance test, and, bad, and had improved muscle strength compared to the control MDX mice. What is the correct dosage for paractin? Since andrographis is an immunomodulator, it is very important that one takes the correct dosage. The recommended dose of paractin is 300 milligrams daily which may be taken as 150 milligrams twice daily. Those seeking optimum support may take as much as 600 milligrams daily. <laughs>